TLC's 90 Day Fiancé. The Other Way is a week away from its finale and fans just want to know which couples are still together amidst other big news and happenings. TLC viewers initially appeared excited for the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off Season 3, but even the new couples Steven Johnston and Alina and Ellie Rose and Victor McLean have left many feeling upset. Episode 12 of 90 Day Fiancé. The Other Way, entitled Cold Feet, suggested not everyone may have a happy ending. Evelyn Villegas is still finding ways to not get married, again, to Corey Rathgeber, and Kenneth Niedermeyer's kids don't want him having a new baby with Armando Rubio. Sumit Singh and Jenny Slatin have begun their marriage process, but Sumit will make Jenny very disappointed when she finds out he asked the lawyer to hold off the application. Biniam admitted he has lied to Ariella several times but maintains he never cheated on her. However, Ariella's health has been a major cause of worry among fans in the past week. Ariella gets fans concerned about her health after meltdown. Although Biniam has his fair share of supporters, many believe Ariella has suffered a lot in their relationship. As the couple reunited in Kenya following Ariella accusing Biniam of inviting random women into their Ethiopia house, she couldn't help but question him again, which led to her breakdown. Fans noticed Ariella looked pale, skinny, and had a sunken face, which gave the idea that she may have not been eating or sleeping well. Fans concluded Ariella had really suffered due to Biniam's constant ghosting when she was in the U.S. and hoped for her to start taking better care of herself. Stephen compared to Season 8 star Andrew Kenton. Fans have come to collectively dislike Stephen due to his mistreatment of Russian girlfriend Alina. The constant gaslighting techniques used by Stephen coupled with his extreme hypocrisy has reminded some TLC viewers of the notorious Andrew, who was engaged to French woman Amira Lalisa on 90 Day Fiancé. The way both Stephen and Andrew are known for their long hair and their want for their respective partners to sacrifice a lot without having to go through many hassles themselves were seen as the biggest similarities between them. Just like Stephen is defending his actions on the show, Andrew used social media to prove he was innocent and Amira was the mastermind who was using the show for fame. However, while Amira never made it to America and dumped Andrew, Alina has disappointed many by choosing to stay with Stephen. Stephen reveals how he became fluent in Russian. Although he has a host of red flags in his relationship with Alina, fans are also impressed when Stephen speaks fluently in Russian. Most 90 Day Fiancé cast members are called out for never making an effort to understand their international partner's language and culture. But Stephen, who has been studying Russian for the last seven years and still continues to do so now, is different. He told a fan on Instagram that they could become decently fluent if they learned Russian for three years. It took Stephen about a year to be able to understand Russian and another six months to be able to put his thoughts into words. Ellie and Victor's storyline leaves fans feeling disappointed. When fans first met Ellie and Victor in the trailer for 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season 3, they were excited about getting to know a new couple that looked like a train wreck waiting to happen. However, since Ellie moved to Providencia after the devastating hurricane Iota to be with Victor, their plot has been the same on every other episode. Fans have admitted to using their segments as bathroom breaks and some even claim they tend to forget Ellie and Victor are even on the show.
The fact that Ellie and Victor are possibly married and living together in Seattle was revealed online as a spoiler, which may have also left fans uninterested in their relationship's outcome on the show.